So now that we know what a collection is and does, specifically that they can find documents, they can insert documents, they can update documents, and they can remove documents, we actually need to understand another piece of the puzzle. And that's a cursor. A cursor is essentially a live query. It changes as the data changes. Cursors are a reactive data source. The documentation for find provides a really good explanation. It does not immediately access the database or return documents. Cursors provide fetch to return all the matching documents and map and for each to iterate over all the matching documents and observe and observe changes to register callbacks when the set of matching document changes. You can think of a cursor as being a placeholder. If the criteria or the result that a cursor is looking for change, they become synchronized by Meteor. That's pretty awesome.